So it's called Patrick Melrose, and it charts the story of this uh, man's life, and it's a, it's a loose alter ego for the author himself, um, which is a miracle when you consider the subject matter. It's a sort of impossible, um, I guess, kind of contradiction in terms. It's both a, a tragedy and a very rich comedy, as you know. I mean, you've seen it, so... Oh, but my it's... God. You, that film w was such a... The theory of everything was such a long experience in the coming. I was on a list of people to play that part, and I wasn't top of the list. Even getting the part was a thrill. You then make the film. You have there is something alchemy-like about filmmaking. You have no idea whether it's going to work. And when people seem to react to it at Toronto, it was wonderful to put it out into the world. So I get up there and I go, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've come up with. It's like, "Hi, I'm." Madonna, how you doing? I'm good, thank you, I'm well. And Jason can see me panicking and goes, Madonna, um, Tom is an incredible dancer. <laughs> Why? And I'm looking at him like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Look at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out there. He's laying down under a tree in the middle of Africa. He's so big. He's so hot. He doesn't want to move. Now, the little lion comes, they start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. The, the, uh, her, her new husband is just kind of cruising along with the thing and he sees me and he's like, Deadpool! <laughs> <laughs> no way! High five! And, I, and I'm, like, I, I'm like, I don't, what do you, like, what has she got? Like, what's happening? Like, I don't wanna, you know, like, you know, like, he's like, let's touch eyeballs! <laughs> No, like, and by the way, your wife is like half dead. <laughs> Help her! Help her, man! Side Squad is a bun about a bunch of homicidal maniacs having a really good time, yeah. basically. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, just your regular popcorn movie. Uh huh. Uh, but I got the call and, and was invited to play the Joker, which was terrifying and exciting and an honor. And uh, yeah, look at that handsome man. Look there. at that. Uh, and it was really the most fun I've ever had on a film in my really? life. Yeah, I had a blast. It was a real honor to get asked to play the part. And, you know, I have a lot of... These characters are so special to people. Uh, and I have a lot of respect for that. And it, it was just a really, really great opportunity. In the beginning, Oswald starts off as a toady, as a grunt for Fish Mooney, who is a crime boss in, in Gotham City. And they have a very close relationship. He is obviously indebted to her for getting to that point. However, Oswald's status goes from high to low to high again. He's learned to play good people off of bad people, off of good people, to finally become someone of power and of status as opposed to being the one that everyone sort of looks down.